Good morning guys, welcome back to another one. I got Nate with me today. We're just down at the farm checking out to see what's going on. And the pond is missing some water. Water level is way down. So I was gonna bring my fishing pole, but I assumed all the water would be like chocolate milk. This water's in pretty good shape. I'm guessing I should have brought it. That water's nice and green. It's clean. Green, clean. All right, so we're not gonna be doing any fishing today. We just come out to see the pond just to see if it was dirty and not fishable, but it's clean and obviously fishable, so. I should have brought my fishing pole, but we did bring some uh, biscuit senders and biscuits. As you can see around the outside around here, the water level is down quite a bit. It's normally, I'm gonna guess it's down probably five or six feet, which is kind of odd considering all the rain we had, but he does pump it out once in a while so that it doesn't overflow into the field. Looks like he's got beans on the other side over there. You don't want to lose a crop just because of your pond. But uh, we got some nice bass in there. Nice bass, there's some big bluegill. Uh, we've also caught some catfish out of there. He had talked about putting some more fish in there, whether it's some more big bass or something else. Maybe we'll show you that in a future video, but until then, that's not my call. So Nate and I are gonna leave the pond. We're gonna go to another section you've all seen before. We're gonna head down to the Y and uh, we're gonna get the biscuit senders out and have a little bit of fun. And I can't thank the owner of this property enough for allowing us to be here, but you see all this sweet corn right here? He tells me every time, just come out, grab what you want, just take what you want. We got all kinds of sweet corn, just come and get it. And I appreciate that a lot. All right guys, sorry about the wind. Not sure if I showed you this before, but there is a bunch of these all over this farm. Y'all know what that is, leave a comment down below. Of course, I'm just gonna tell you what that is. That's a wood duck box. And as I just talked to Paul, the owner of this property, I can smell propane up by the shop. So I mentioned that to him. I said, what is the smell of the propane? As you look down here, there's a propane container. There's a propane tank. So I said, well, what's that for? That keeps the raccoons from climbing up the pole getting into the box and eating the baby wood ducks. These things here are all over the farm. They're all out the back here by the pond. And we're gonna head over to the Y, which is way over there. And there's a bunch of them out there too. So, giving a little bit back. So it's not just about shooting things and taking them home and eating them, it's about conservation as well. So we're trying to help the wood duck population grow as opposed to just keep on taking. Anyway, let's head over to the Y and see what's going on over there. All right, sorry about the wind, guys. Uh, we parked way back there by the road because uh, we need the exercise. Nate and I are going to head down to the Y. It's only about a 200-meter walk. Uh, we brought the SKS today. We're going to shoot a little bit, look around, have a look at these. Uh, we're coming up on another wood duck box here. I'll show you that in just a second. All right, guys, there's another wood duck box. Doesn't have the propane tank on the bottom yet, but he's gonna put one on there. And the initial plan today was to go boating. <laughs> you can tell by the wind, that's probably not a good idea. Yeah. Another wood duck box. All right, folks. Here. That there is what we call the Y. I think you've all seen that before. The creek runs this way and then runs that way and also comes up alongside here and we are parked over there. The pond that we were just at is way over here. So, a lot of property to cover out here. A lot of fun to be had out here. Anyway, let's go see if there's any ducks at the Y here. Late September, early duck season, these creeks are just loaded with the wood ducks. Uh, later on, the wood ducks move out and then the mallards come in here and there's a lot of mallards and some pintails back here. Not as many as wood ducks, but there is some back here. Have a look at this, this is a uh, it's a great spot. It's 
per usual. We only bring 20 rounds. Nate's shooting his Glock back there. And we're just out here having a little bit of fun. As you saw, Nate's uh, shooting his Glock back there. He's now out of ammo, so now we gotta go back to the truck because he didn't bring his ammo for his Glock. Walk out, shoot 20, walk back. Good exercise. Anyway, this is where we're at. Again, as I've told you before, that's the Y down there. Runs this way, runs this way. And I've said it before, there are probably no less than 50 miles, 75 miles, of creek down here full of fish full of fun we're pretty much done shooting the long one nate's got his uh glock he's gonna send some out of that for a bit and we're gonna be out of here just give you a little bit of clarification i live in tilbury nate lives with his mom in chatham which is about 20 minutes away nate and i don't get to spend as much time together as either one of us would like but when we are together, what Nate wants to do most is shoot and have a little bit of fun with it. So that's what we do. So anytime Nate's with me, that's we usually got some pews with us and that's exactly what we're doing. Today was no different. Um, I'm a little pressed for time today and tomorrow and Nate's pressed for time today. So uh, we, thought, we decided we'd uh, just head down to the farm and make the best of it. We didn't go out to the ghost ranch today. Uh, I was a little closer to go to the farm that I usually go to. So that's all we did. No shot the shit had a little bit of fun made fun of each other and uh had a good time anyway that's all i got for today's video i hope you enjoyed it and as usual get outside and enjoy the outdoors later <laughs>